Well, we're back. We survived the tornadoes and hurricanes and whatever else it was. It is windy AF out here today, though. Holy, man. It's crazy. But I washed these guys off. Let's see if I can block some of the wind. I washed these guys off. Um, I got that red line bike I found a few weeks ago, and Polo gave me this Miss America Huffy last night. This thing is awesome. It's in really rough shape, but it's cool. Now that's vintage, Justin. That's vintage. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> or classic, right? Look, it says Miss America on the on the chain guard. It's pretty cool. I don't know what I'll get for it. It's in rough shape, but maybe somebody wants to restore it. You know, where are you going to find one, right? The seats is probably the worst part about it. Getting the seat recovered. You might be able to get them. Get a different banana seat cover, though. That might be repairable. You know, it's not rotted anywhere, but it's definitely it's definitely a little crusty. But, uh, yeah, I got to get these carts, these two bikes, and this wagon on here still. Oh, man. Holy master packer, right? <laughs> oh, man. And we got, I still got some blackberry plants over there I got to put under there, too. And the whole, obviously, the whole cab's full, as usual. All right. We got some free emoji pillows from the auction the other night. People left. The red glass is all cleaned and in here. Uh, this cool Aladdin purple steel lunchbox that I got at the auction the other day. I thought that was pretty cool. Yep. Well, we're going to do this today and probably take in a load of scrap. I got some light iron and stuff I can load up. Make a couple bucks for the day. Oh man. As usual, packed to the brim. We got the gun gun holders that we found the other day. Masks, paintball masks, and uh, regulators in there. The cans are all still in here. Um, some other stuff. Uh, Tucker's camera that didn't sell. Put it on the dollar table. I'll try it at Columbus. He don't go to Columbus, really. He should, probably. I think Columbus is better than Berlin, but that's just me. And I'm so close, it's kind of a no-brainer to go to Columbus. Berlin's not a major hike for me, but it's a lot farther than Columbus. So. All right, let's see if I can get the rest of this stuff on there. It's going to definitely look uh, pretty crazy, that's for sure. <laughs> He's loaded down. Somebody in one of the other videos made a comment, said I had to get in touch with Mr. Scrappity and get some packing lessons. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Scrappity? Do I need packing lessons? I even got those mattresses in there. Almost forgot about them, the air mattresses. Found a couple holes. That red line's on top. Three pedal cars, two bicycles, a wagon, a whole bunch of blackberries plants stroller <laughs> two <laughs> two shopping baskets some light fixtures tools and a whole bunch of bric-a-brac all right all right i think that's everything everything i want to take this week all right i guess we'll do, do a scrap load and make a couple bucks ain't gonna be much but get rid of some of the stuff laying around here Oh man, I don't know. I think this is the last week for the end irons. It's kind of out of season, but if I can't sell them this week, I think I'm just going to scrap them. All right. All right, well, I guess we'll run this small load in. It ain't much, but it's a little bit of something. Some chairs and stuff I got the other day. Old TV that I found. There's some random stuff from the auction in here, some leftovers. 
people left there, so there's Tucker's toaster oven, but I guess we ain't gonna shoot it. We're just gonna, oh, we can't say that, right? Can't say that, because the algorithm will bleep you. Alright, we're not we're not gonna bang bang it because it's going to the scrapyard. Alright. Nothing crazy. We got enough to put some fuel in the tank, but uh, you guys remember that S10 that I, the lady stopped me at the end of the driveway? Well, I was calling her and calling her and calling her, and she never really got back to me. And then the other day, she got back to me, and she said, "Oh man, uh, the friendship friendship junkyard took it the other yesterday." I was like, "Oh man." So yesterday, I called friendship. I'm like, "Hey, is that you picked up an S10? Blah blah blah. You know, is it in there?" And he's like, nah, we gave it to the yard guy over there at the at the yard. And I'm like, oh, shit. So they straight up traded him. One of the guys, you've probably seen the video, uh, a couple videos running the Bobcat. He's their yard guy over here at the scrapyard. So it's not getting destroyed. He's going to drive it. He's going to fix it. And he's going to use it. And I told him I want first dibs when he goes to get rid of it. He's like, well, I usually blow them up. And I'm like, yeah, well, whatever. Just, you know. Keep me in mind when something does happen to it and call me first. He's like, I will. I'm like, so somewhere down the line we'll end up with it, but not right now. I missed that boat. I tried, but she's got a landscaping business and she was super busy and couldn't get back to me and her husband got rid of it, so whatever. At least it's not in the junkyard getting destroyed, so that's cool. I guess we'll head over to the shop, see what the monkeys are doing, see what they're getting into. What you doing? Slave labor and terrible? Fucking breaking. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. What's the deal with this one? Starter bolt seas. Starter bolt seas? Machines like that. I don't really. I don't want my dude. The only way to yeah. continue is for me to put as much effort as I possibly can into this and break the bolt. Like, yeah. like it's either going to come loose or it's going to break. That's all I got for you. Oh, man. <laughs> Dust shield rattles. Look at it. It's a stock exhaust, though, huh? Yeah. Holy crusty. That thing's barely holding on. Oh, oh, it broke off. That's nor notorious, right? All right, so you ready to take this down or no? Yeah. Oh, all right.
Walker had a bunch of shit at the auction. This pair of Nikes walked away. They offered a $30. $30 reward if they got returned. Uh, what about the O2s? Uh, they're just dang one. Okay, put your in now. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Where do you want to go with this? Or inside or outside? I don't even know. I'll just slide it over to the side for now. <laughs> oh, that Subi life. <laughs> Head gaskets every 5,000 miles. <laughs> yeah, it's a little crusty. You can actually see it better in the camera. Let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it's focusing on the uh, there it goes. Oh, starting to. Looks like it is. Just reef on it. Oh, there she goes. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Yep, it's going you now. Just get scared when you feel it stretch. <clears throat> yeah. Holy corrosion. You want to just go in the point or you want to go in there? No, I want to go in there. You kind of got a. What do you use support in a bell housing, right? Uh, or the, like the, diff. the oh the the front diff. It's all, all right, whatever you do, people, don't put the jack on the transmission pan. <laughs> right? Just get a block of wood that's the full size. Yeah, yeah, because these transmissions have solenoids right there on the bottom, and just pushing that pan up even the thickness of a nickel. We'll just snap the solenoids right off. Tell us how we know. A couple junkyard missions. It's fixable pretty easily, actually, but you don't want to do it. That's for sure. It's not... It, yeah, yeah. Well, we found them in the junkyard, didn't we? Yeah, I know. The ones that... If you had to buy the solenoids, yeah, they're expensive. Subi life. Yeah! <laughs> Oh man, here we go. Oh god, I have to grind this down. Gotta get the sides. Yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm, right through here you can. Right. Yeah, that's another thing with these, like halfway down on both sides there's a dowel pin, so. You know, there's dowel pins on both sides, and, and half the time, it, one dowel pin will come out in the trans, and the other one will stay in the block, or you never get them both out on one side. We'll see what happens. At least, it seems like it goes that way, anyway. Want to come over on this side? Yeah. Are oh, you going to leave it? You got another one? Don't break it off in there. <laughs> Third one fell out. There, how about over here? Ooh, there you go. Alright, well, that's on the starter hole, so move over to the other side, right? 
I know this looks terrible. There's probably mechanics out there going, oh my god, but believe me. Mm -hmm. This is what happens behind the scenes. Yeah. All the stuff they tell you not to do, that's what everybody's doing. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> that's what it seems like, right? <laughs> the dowels, right? Yeah, this one's loose. Give me a small one. Take the big one. It's going. Oh, okay. A little bit at a time. I think you need to go low over here on this yeah. side, though, right? Oh. There you go. I see these dowel pins are. There's actually, I think, one right here. Maybe, yeah, see it? See that steel dowel pin? That's where they get stuck. That's for sure. Yeah. You have to because it's stuck. Yeah, just wedging it doesn't work. Yeah. There you go. You're getting it. You got to come on this side. You want to switch around? Yeah. Oh, you're almost there. You got to go low down there where that dowel pin is. I know, but there's nowhere to. No, there isn't. Not with this thing. Yeah. Actually on top there. of it. Um, you want the big one? Yeah. Just the big one. You got this side good though. Yeah. This side's off. You want me to like grab the front and jiggle the watch, jiggle the motor? Yeah, I'm just gonna. Come up with a jack a little bit. This guy. Try it. Mm -hmm. Close it up. Um, hold on. Let me get one of your. Hold on. Jerk it right out of there. There you go. Yeah. Because right now we're pulling on the train. Yeah. There it goes. Loose. Yeah, you jack jack it up now. Oh yeah, it's all the way out of the pins. Oh, hold on, one fell back in. There you go. Go back down a hair. There it goes. You're good. You're clear. But pull back a little bit too, yeah. Oh, too much. <laughs> you go. You're good. You didn't even you didn't even touch the AC condenser. Yep. You don't forget things no more. Don't up, up, up. All right, change the clutch. Put it right back in. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a mushimatic. All right, you're high enough. And I had to move out. Hey, Ron, like, how fast can you drop on the cover? Yeah. 
Ronox Mod Shop. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Ah. Probably gotta go up higher now. It ain't set up for a small block, that's for sure. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to jump over that. This is what's cool about Subarus though, with the studs that stand. They're a pain, but they're also kind of cool at the same time. Especially when trying to line the motor and trans back up, right? Makes it a little bit easier, sometimes. But if you got the wrong angle, it makes it worse, right? <laughs> comes to gas. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, you're good. Another problem with these things, you get oil in there around the valve covers, right? These two are real bad. The other side's not that bad, but this side's so bad it's dripping off the spark plug boot. <laughs> what were we saying earlier? One dowel pin stays in the motor. Where's the other one? There it is. <laughs> That's a pain right there. Alright, he's got the motor out now, so we'll head back to the farm, see what we can get into. Get something done for today. Okay. Alright, well, I picked up a lot of these and tucked them in, trimmed off a lot of the ones that were a little bit too too long and spindly, tried to clean this hedgerow up a little bit. Uh, tell you what, the people buying these off me got no idea what they're in for, that's for sure. Oh well. It looks a lot better, at least I can walk around out here and I'm putting that another connecting piece on this end of the trellis to the ground i should have done when i built it but i did it on those ones down there but all right we'll leave it there it's windy it's like crazy out here so all right thanks for watching comment rate subscribe i'm back tomorrow for flea market action i guess we'll see what happens